typhoid is a very common disease especially in our part of the world typhoid is very common why does it happen let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamath this is scientific doctor channel in this channel every week a health related topic is explained via video if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new videos are released this week's video is about typhoid fever sometimes called as enteric fever this is caused by a bacteria called as salmonella typhi nowadays correctly called as salmonella enterica subspecies typhi okay this is also caused by other related bacteria called salmonella para typhi anyway why does it happen this bacteria spreads through contaminated food and water and sometimes through close contact with the infected person this almost now never happens in industrialized or developed nations it is more prevalent in developing countries like our country india because this is a problem of drinking water and food sanitation this bacteria spreads from the infected person through his or her stools or urine that is from feces or urine if this feces or urine contaminates the water supply or the person doesn't you know properly washes his, his or her hands and then probably cooks or handles the food then it spreads to other persons via food and water when they ingest it so if personal hygiene water quality and sanitation measures are improved this disease can be prevented almost in total so what has happened when this uh, when this bacteria enters our body after an incubation period of around 1 to 2 weeks it can last as long as 4 weeks that is after entry into the gut of the individual it, it enters into the blood stream but it takes time before it shows its effects what are the symptoms you will have fever the fever is usually keeps on rising so today it is little less tomorrow it is more so it keeps on rising to a higher degree of temperature you have headache you have severe muscle pain you have tiredness you have abdominal symptoms like abdominal pain you have constipation sometimes diarrhea all this goes on unless you take the proper treatment by 2 weeks this disease can result in complications even though we think typhoid as a simple disease this can result in very many complications including blood stream infection resulting in sepsis the intestines may even get perforated resulting in an emergency surgery the lungs may get involved resulting in a pneumonia practically every organ in the body can be involved so this is not so simple disease it can be dangerous if not diagnosed and treated properly so how to diagnose this doctors diagnose this by a combination of clinical features and investigations the clinical features may include a coating of the tongue there may be a white coating of tongue you may have your spleen and liver may be enlarged and along with the history and clinical features doctor may also require investigations in the form of blood investigations the commonly done vital test is not very accurate you may require to do a blood culture so with these investigations a diagnosis of typhoid fever is made how to treat this you will need appropriate antibiotics for this the antibiotics should be taken for the proper course because this bacteria is notorious to develop resistance to antibiotics so if the antibiotics are not taken in the proper dose for the proper duration you may not get relief instead you may have a resistance to the common antibiotics so ultimately it may result in complications or in hospitalization or both since the dosing as well as the duration is important self medication is dangerous 
for treatment of typhoid fever as for any other illness but even more dangerous in typhoid fever. So how to prevent? As I said, the route of entry is feco oral or through contaminated food and water. So safe drinking water supply, improved sanitary measures and improvement in personal hygiene. This is the cornerstone for prevention of typhoid fever. Do you have any vaccines for typhoid fever? Yes, definitely. Typhoid fever has had many vaccines, but since the initial vaccines were not completely preventing it, were not very effective in preventing it, they had a success rate of around 60%, 40%. So they were not very successful. You have had injections as well as oral vaccines. But now you now have a newer conjugate typhoid vaccine which has a much better protection than the older vaccines. This can be given between the ages of 6 months to even adults. Remember any vaccine even when it is the best it is not going to be 100% effective. So yes personal hygiene and water and food safety measures are important but definitely vaccine is going to benefit in prevention of typhoid fever. Sometimes after a certain period after getting the vaccine you may need booster doses so consult your doctor if there is booster doses required for the vaccines. So in a nutshell typhoid fever is a totally preventable disease. If you improve your water and food safety and improve your personal hygiene and additionally get the typhoid vaccine this is preventable. If you have any symptoms of typhoid fever consult the doctor make a proper diagnosis then take the treatment for the appropriate dose and duration to avoid complications. Friends this is a short explanation about typhoid fever. If you like this video kindly share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again, bye.